Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we are preparing you for another test. Cynthia's prepared something very beautiful on possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. Did you know there was a difference? Vamos a hablar de todo en la segunda parte. Y por favor, si os gusta nuestro contenido y os gustaría que llegase a más personas, por favor, suscribiros y darle like porque es gratis. And you have to subscribe because Cynthia used a very complex subjunctive sentence there. So, I mean, just for that. <laughs> just for that, subscribe. Just for that, it's worth subscribing. And vale. also, um, bear in mind, we're doing this uh, test on the possessive pronouns and the possessive adjectives. And we have a book on that, which is available on Amazon and in audio from the website. The test uh, will be available next week. Today, we're going through it. But it's important that you watch this video because in the sentences we'll get some things that we've talked about today. And there's a document that I will put yes, in so. the video notes that you can get, okay? And that'll help you with it. Muy bien. Okay, so we're going to divide the possessives into adjectives and pronouns, okay? The adjectives are the ones that are going to go before the noun, okay? Like in English. Mm -hmm. My house, your house, yes? And the pronouns are the ones that are going to go after or substitute the noun, okay? The house is mine, the house is yours, mm -hmm. okay? The main difference that we have in English and Spanish is that in Spanish, it's not referring to the owner, but it's referring to the object owned, okay? The object owned is going to set it for be it being plural, masculine, feminine, okay? Not the person owning the object, yes? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're gonna see this in, in the examples. Okay, so what adjectives do we have? The possessive adjectives. The possessive mm -hmm. adjectives. So we've got me, mis. Muy bien. Tú, tus, su, sus, nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, nuestras, mm -hmm. vuestro, vuestra, vuestros, vuestras, and then su and sus. Muy bien. Okay, and what possessive pronouns do we have in Spanish? We've got mío, mía, míos, mías. Tuyo, tuya, tuyos, tuya. Tuyas. Tuyas, sorry. <laughs> and then suyo, suya, suyo, suyas. Uh -huh. And then the, the same, nuestro, nuestros. Yeah, the same, exactly the same. Vuestros, exactly the same. Uh -huh. But then suyo, suyo, suya, suyas. Suyo, suyas, muy bien. Mm -hmm. So the nuestro and the vuestro, they both share They're those exactly two. the same in both, yeah. Okay, so let's... Let's uh, formulate sentences with the adjectives and the pronouns, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, so we, you're gonna have this at the bottom, you know, on the sheet. So let's talk about moto, una moto. So moto or motorbike is feminine though. Confusing, even though it ends with O. It's motocicleta. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a feminine word, moto, la moto. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how would you say my motorbike? So, because it were, that's an adjective, uh, mm -hmm. um, adjective pronoun, so it would be mi moto. Okay, so what if the motorbike was plural? What if I want to say my motorbikes? Then that would be mis motos. Exactly. So in Spanish, you would have to match the noun. The noun is motorbikes, so it's plural and feminine. So mis. In this case, we can't make it feminine because it's just me. Sure. But we will in, in some of this. Okay. So how would you say the motorbike is mine? Okay, so that's different. So it's la moto es mía. Exactly, and you would say mía because motorbike is feminine. So it's got nothing to do with going being a man. Or if I said that, it would still be mía, regardless of who says that, because motorbike is feminine. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the motorbikes are mine. Okay. Las motos son mías. Exactly. So motorbikes, feminine and plural, mías, feminine and plural. Muy bien. Mm-hmm. Vale. Okay. So and then that's how we use the tú, tuyo. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's move on just because of time. So let's talk about the genitive, the Saxon genitive. Good God. Yes. What's the Saxon genitive? The apostrophe S. Yeah. The apostrophe S. You know, when you say Peter's house or I don't know, um, Sophia's chair. Okay. And you've got in English, you've got an apostrophe S, which we don't in Spanish. And what do we have instead in Spanish when you have that in English? The house of Peter, we have to exactly. say. Yeah. So we have to say la casa de Peter. Okay. Mm. Sometimes we can use this uh, alongside the pronouns, the possessive pronouns, okay? Because sometimes it can be confusing, for example, when we say um, um, his, sorry, theirs, ours, Mm -hmm. okay? So, for example, I want to say, in in English it wouldn't be confusing because you would say who the owner is, Uh but in Spanish we don't, we just talk about the object. So if we say, su coche es rojo Mm -hmm. you don't know in that sentence you don't know if we're saying his car is red or her car is red or your car or your usted Uh car is red yeah okay in the in the case of you usted we don't tend we don't use it we don't say the the t but we do use it to clarify if belongs to a man or a woman for Mm -hmm. example we can say El coche de él es rojo, o el coche de ella es rojo. So we can use the genitive Saxon in English, or in Spanish, de, mm, mm-hmm. él o ella, o de ellos, de ellas, mm-hmm. okay? When we want to specify if it belongs to a man or a woman, or if it belongs to Peter, or if it belongs to a specific person, mm-hmm. see? Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I want to say um, la moto es suya, mm-hmm. what could that mean? La moto es suya. So it's his or her motorbike. Uh huh. So it's his, it's hers, or, or it's it's, it's uh, your usted. It's your usted. Muy bien. Uh-huh. Okay. So how would we say that? Another way, so you want to specify to me that it's his motorbike. Uh, either es la moto de él or la moto es de él. Muy bien. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if it was hers? De ella. Okay, and if it was you, well, you, we could say de usted. De usted. La moto es de usted. Mm-hmm. But we tend to use it more for de él, de ella, de ellos, de ellas. Mm-hmm. That tends to be the one that we use the most. De Carlos, de María. Or de Carlos, de María. Exactly. Okay, the next one. What about mío o el mío? Ah. Because sometimes we say es mío. Sometimes we say es el mío. And Gordon is an expert at explaining this. And you, Gordon. Well, <laughs> only because I've done it for so long. <laughs> when, when we want to say this is mine... Imagine this is a mobile and I say this is mine. So I'm just going to say, es mío. It's mine. The reason I'm going to just use mío is because it's. I'm only referring to one. There's no confusion. This is just one. But what happens when we've got a comparison, when we've got two items? That's when we have to start saying, this is my one. And how you do that in Spanish is by saying, este es el mío y este es el tuyo. Mm-hmm. All right, so we start putting basically the L is mob- mobile. You're just repeating it. Este móvil es el tuyo. It basically, you're saying this mobile is the the mobile yours. Yes. Yeah? And also, very important, we use it as well at the beginning of a sentence. So if you say, for example, oh, mine is blue. Mine is blue. If we're talking about mobile, for example, mm-hmm. you would have to say, el mío es azul. Es we azul. couldn't say, Mío es azul. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so at the beginning of a sentence, we would say el mío, so the one that's mine. Yeah, in English we could say mine is blue, but my we one. would tend to say my one is my one is blue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or another a typical sentence. For example, I've got it here written down. So somebody saying, "Oh, I have a dog," and you say, "Oh, I also have a dog, but mine is a poodle." A poodle. Yeah. Okay, but mine is a poodle. So now there are two dogs. But now you, we're talking about the one that is mine. Mm-hmm. So my one is a poodle. So el mío es un caniche. Mm-hmm. Or if it was a female dog, la mía es una caniche. Yeah? Yeah. So it's always when there is a comparison. You, there, there's more than one item. When there's only one item, there's no confusion. You just use mío, tuyo, whatever, yeah? And the last little um, section that we have here is lo mío, la mía. And we're going to find expressions in which we say lo mío or we say la mía, mm-hmm. regardless of things being owned, for example. Lo mío um, would be translated in English as my thing. Okay? It could be lo nuestro, our thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, it could be lo vamos vuestro. A, vamos a hablar thing. de lo nuestro. Aha, uh-huh. our thing, yeah? Vamos a hablar de lo nuestro. I don't know if in English you would say our thing. Let's talk about our... Uh, Let's Could talk about us. Us yeah. or our relationship, for example. Yeah. Also, in sentences like, it's not my thing, for example. Maths are not my thing. Las matemáticas no son lo mío. And so even though we're saying las... Even though we're saying las matemáticas, say lo. lo mío would be my thing. My thing. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So rega- because we, regardless of maths or if things is feminine... Lo mío, my thing. Mm-hmm. It's not my thing. So it could be like our thing, like our relationship, or not my thing. Yes? Or for example, our relationship is over. We could say, lo nuestro se acabó. Okay? Oh. Or nuestra relación se acabó, of course. But lo nuestro, our thing, se acabó. Okay? Or Often the, the low in these sentences translates as thing, and if mm-hmm. it, it could it could have a different. Um, Todo lo mío es también tuyo. That sentence, all my stuff, everything I own, all my stuff is yours too. You know, it might, See, maybe all that might, is mine. All that is mine. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't always thing, but you can use thing, and most times it's going to make some sense. Yeah. yeah. Or all things that are mine all are, are yours. Are mine. Yeah. Todo yeah. lo mío es Tuyo, for example, mm-hmm. yeah? And la mía, I have this expression here, which is salirse con, and then it's always used in feminine. La tuya, la mía, la vuestra, la nuestra, mm-hmm. okay? So what would be that in English? Siempre te sales con la tuya. Uh, you, that, always, you always... Um, you always get your way. Get, get your own way. You always yeah. get your own way. Yeah. Okay, so that's another funny one that maybe you'll see with la mía. Why is it la mía? Uh-huh. So, you know, sometimes you'll see expressions that don't make sense in the sentence and then you'll have to know why that is. So, for yeah. example, salirse con la suya o lo nuestro, eh, lo mío. Mm-hmm. Yes? So, this is everything. Okay. Así que, hay que prepararse. <laughs> porque la semana que viene tenemos un test. Eso sí. es, muy bien. Muy pues bien. Mucha suerte la semana que viene, chicos. Sí. Mucha mierda. <risa> vale, hasta luego. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Adiós. Adiós.